morning, everybody. It's Friday today. Happy Friday to all. Um, yesterday we had some issues uh, with the server connection and today here in Florida where I am located we are uh, under a storm and uh, lights went out just a few minutes ago so I hope everything uh, goes okay with today's um, SAP Business One tip. Uh, as you know my name is Clara Custodio, I lead customer experience here at Consensus International, we're an SAP Business One Gold Partner in North America. Um, I originally come from Spain. Madrid is my city and today is Madrid's day. It's uh, San Isidro, which is our patron. So happy San Isidro to everyone. Uh, let me jump right into sharing with you the tip that I want to share today that has to do with the open items list. Uh, the Odom open item list is one of the reports that comes uh, by default with SAP Business One, and it, it is one of the most used reports uh, by users. It, it, is a, it is a report that combines, that gives you information on uh, partially delivered or not delivered, uh, partially paid or unpaid uh, documents, uh, also, if a vendor has not yet uh, delivered the items of a purchase order, all those types of documents, when they're open or partially open, they will show up in the in the open item list. But the tip that I want to share with you today is how you can, from the open item list, you can cancel or close documents in bulk. This might come in handy if uh, if you've ever had to close or cancel those type of, of open documents one by one, this is a very nice tip. Uh, only documents that are available to close without generating a journal entry or on the on the background are the ones that you, you will be able to close or cancel in bulk. So we're talking about sales orders, sales quotations, purchase orders, but not invoices that you will have to do on a one-on-one -on -one by one basis because it generates uh, a new document for cancellation and it does generate a reverse uh, transaction. So first of all, where you find uh, the open item list, uh, we know that we can find it here and the reports. But if you ever have any doubt, remember that you have the lookup menu. So if you type in here, open items, it's going to show you the different places where you can find it. Today we're going to we're going to use the example of the sales and purchasing open item list. So once we open this report, uh, we see that we have different types of. Uh, let me move my camera here. We you see that we have different types of documents that we can see. All these documents you can you can consult on this open item list. Today we're going to just pretend that we want to cancel some sales quotations and it might be because they expired for instance and in that case what we can do is we can we the only thing we need to do is we need to click on the line of the of the sales quotation that we want to cancel or close and then we can use the keyboard keys uh, the same as in Excel. If you wanna, if you wanna select uh, a group of of sales quotations that are all together, you can just click on Shift, and if you click on on the on the last one, it will highlight a, a big group. If you wanna select some of them, you can click on Control, and then you can select manually the ones that you wanna cancel. Correct. So for now, we're just going to pretend that we're going to we're going to we want to close this uh, these three sales quotations. We could it could be a hundred sales quotations because they are from 2016. So obviously they are expired. So once you have selected the documents that you want to close or cancel, you need to position your mouse in this area and right click on it. That is called the context menu. So here you see that you have the option to cancel or close. In this case, we're going to close these three documents. And it's giving me, it's, it's asking me, do I want to close these selected documents? Yes. And once we click on yes, we're going to see that these three documents are going to disappear from the report. And if we went on to see the documents, their status will be closed. They disappear from the report immediately because remember that this is an open item. 
uh, lists the report. So it's only going to show us documents that are open or partially open. I hope this was helpful uh, to you. And uh, let me share our website. I want to tell you about the next webinar that we have. Yesterday, we had a very interesting webinar about digital transformation and, uh, and what you can do to to step forward in your in your digital transformation. If you give me a second, something is not working with my screen sharing here. Okay. If you go to our web to our website and you click on resources and then click on webinar and workshops, you're going to find information about our upcoming webinars and workshops. The next one we have is the design thinking. Uh, design thinking is a very interesting methodology when you face a challenge, a specific challenge, or you're asking yourself uh, a question about the, your processes or about the way you're managing a part of your business or, or your whole business. Uh, it's, a, it's a methodology that traditionally it's performed in a, in a room with a group of people. You try to invite uh, a very varied a group of people from your team. You could even invite your customers to get their feedback on that on that session, and um, and you use colorful post-its and uh, and you end up with conclusions on where you should go next. And uh, this webinar is going to show you how you can apply that methodology in the remote environment that we're living in today. And uh, I think most of us all small and medium-sized companies, we do have at least one challenge about how we're going to do our business in the, in the near future in this new reality. So I really recommend you joining us in this, in this webinar. Uh, other than that, I wish you all a very happy um, weekend and I'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching.